As I tell people all the time, whenever Jesus, in the, in the, in, people call it the passion, from that last night while he was in the garden until he was on the cross, he shed his blood three times. The first time he shed his blood was in the garden. And he sweat drops of blood. Why? Because the chastisement of our peace was upon him. That's where he got and, and gave us the right to have peace of mind, even in the middle of terrible circumstances, because he bled for us at that moment. And our minds can be clear and can have peace no matter what's going on. Then his next stop was at the whipping post. And with his stripes, you were healed. End of story. It's a done deal. There is, we do not have to ask God whether it's God's will to heal you. Once he went to that whipping post and that was included in the atonement, God's will was forever settled. He could never say no. Why? Because of that promise. And all the promises are in him, yes, and in him, amen, which means so be it. Then he went to the cross. Then he shed his blood the third time. And that blood was for the remission of our sins so that we could be redeemed. So he had already freed our soul, our body, and then finally our spirit through his blood. That's a total redemption. Why? Because man went through a total fall in the garden. For anything else, for there to be, for God to even equal what Satan did in the garden, he had to provide a total, complete redemption for man through Jesus. If he didn't, then what Satan did was bigger and stronger than what Jesus did. But instead, Jesus took care of all of it. Why? He wants you to have free. He wants to be Jehovah Shalom to you. He wants to be your peace. He wants to be Jehovah Rapha, the Lord that heals you. And he wants to be the Lord your God. He wants to be Jehovah Elohim, which is the sovereign master, the one that has bought you back and paid for you. But a lot of people just never commit themselves to him. God can't take care of what you don't commit to him. Most Christians have committed their spirits. Most have never committed their bodies or their souls to God. John Lake used to talk about a hundredfold consecration where you consecrate spirit, soul, and body. And if you do that, he will sanctify, separate, make holy all parts of you, spirit, soul, and body. And he wants to keep you blameless, unrebukable, having no reason to find fault with you. 